Why do stars appear in binaries more often than on their own? To answer that, you'd have to understand how star formation works, and actually we don't, fundamentally. Um, but it looks like the process by which gas clouds collapse and fragment tends to produce a, a pair of stars in the process rather than a single star, more often than not. But it has to be more subtle than that, because of course there are plenty of stars like the Sun that don't have a binary companion. Um, but something in the process by which stars form from collapsing gas clouds and so on tends to produce pairs of stars. I know we don't know where the Sun formed and where it came from, do we know if it's likely to have once been in a binary or not? Like, do binaries ever break apart, or, or do, do stars make for life? They can break apart, and in, in particular, you know, particularly if a, if a third star gets involved, it can kind of break up a, a perfect friend, you know, a perfect relationship by whizzing past, and actually then the gravitational inf interaction can pull them apart. If they're only weakly bound to start with, even quite subtle effects like the, the effects of the gravitational pull of the Milky Way or other bodies can actually, over time, rip them apart from each other. Um, so they're not, it's not necessarily the case if you see a star on its own now that it wasn't born in a binary. Do we know that from things we've witnessed or from modelling? It's mostly from modelling that, that actually you can quite accurately model what the likely life history of a binary star will be depending on how far apart it is. And obviously if the stars are very close together, they're very tightly gravitationally bound to each other, it takes a lot to rip them apart. But if they're only in a fairly wide orbit to start with, they're much more likely to part company at some point. Is there any thought on whether the Sun was once in a binary then? Or? I think people have asked the question, but I don't think there's any definitive answer one way or the other. Imagine that if the sun's former twin is out there somewhere, like we don't know about Could it. Could well be, and, and presumably, you know, so it's also thought that most stars form in clusters. So actually, there must be a whole bunch of, of the sun's former nursery mates out there somewhere in the Milky Way. There's a bunch of very sophisticated simulations with a very complicated model of the Milky Way, where they basically take this model and wind the clock backwards and try and see whether, for any plausible set of parameters, the Sun and this cluster end up in the same place at the same time at some point in the past.